He doesn't want a supermarket type job. He wants to be a performer. Everybody's smiling. Oh, that was cool. That was good. Sometimes I get really nervous because for any young person, that's a scary ride. I think I cut your heads off a bit, but. Hey, yeah. Duncan Armstrong has Down syndrome. He jumped at the chance of being part of our stories. A project that aims Three, to shift perceptions two, around disability. Look at that. It's that a joint a project for schools <laughs> between IHC and CCS yeah, Disability yeah, Action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. So it's question time. Duncan has some help from Jimmy, his music buddy and companion. Here you go. Uh, um, um, what? Uh, is like important to you? I do for me and my friends and family and to me. That's nice, isn't it? What kind of performing do you like to do? I do dance, drama, dance, drama music. Do you play an instrument? I play two instruments. I play drums and bass tap. <laughs> to a special school or class? I never have. <laughs> yeah. Why is that done? Because I'm a main student. <laughs> main student means you're nearly only special class or schools. Mm. So, yeah. Duncan's oh, been like mainstreamed school, all the way through school. His parents were determined <laughs> that having Down syndrome <laughs> wouldn't cramp yeah, his style. When I was a young woman, I worked at Templeton Psychopedic Hospital which was where people like Duncan were sent to live back in those days. And I knew absolutely that was not where Duncan was going to be. And so right from then, we were just going to be an ordinary family and he was going to go to school and do all the things everyone did. And pretty well, that's what's happened. Yeah, and I had a brother, Michael. He was um, in Kimberley in Levin in a psychopedic hospital and, and he died in child, childhood at a young age. And so, as, as with Max, I didn't want that sort of life for Duncan. I'm just here, Jim. Their decision yeah. paid off. Yeah. Yeah. Duncan loves school and gained the NCEA credits in four subjects, including drama and music. Hello! Hey, 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 give me a hug! It's been a while since Duncan's seen his old band. He met them at a music course at Fitarea Polytech in Porirua last year. He's been practicing hard, and his teacher can tell. Now, thinking about the whole band, once upon a time he couldn't do that, he could only think about Duncan and the drum kit. Now Duncan's been a lot more open about knowing that there's players in the band with him, that he needs to play with them and not by himself. If we stay hard in his dreams, um, in years to come, I can see him being a, a real good professional musician in his own way. Hey, Tony, we're Skype here. Have a jam, eh? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take your lead, Duncan. Duncan's just born for the stage. He's been in several Wellington theatre productions. He had a bit part in Shortland Street. He just signed up with an agent last week. Who knows what'll happen? It's been a big day, but Duncan's still got work to do at home. You need to. Well, you'll just have to get them out, won't you? Yeah. He's on dinner duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's on the menu tonight? Bread sauce and pasta. Nice. How um, often do you cook dinner? I cook dinner every Monday. What are some of the other dishes you can make? I make, I make stir fry, mm, I like stir pizza, fry. Yeah, ratatouille, bread sauce, pasta, and other stuff. Oh, yeah. you've got quite a few dishes there. Duncan's parents are proud that he's capable and quite independent. You know, it hasn't all been plain sailing by, by any means. He's achieved an awful lot. We've had a lot of really good support from our families and from, from our community. We've lived in, in this house and, um, and in this area for most of, almost all of Duncan's life. 
So we're pretty well established, you know, in the, in the community, and everyone knows Duncan. That's the thing too. I mean, we're really proud of him, but we're really proud of all the places he's been that have sort of risen to his challenge and his vision and ours and done what was necessary to make him part of whatever place it would be. The focus now is finding more tertiary training for Duncan, a course he wants to do and that will take him. He's busy though, on the Wellington City Youth Council and looking for work. Longer term, he wants to go flatting. If I flat, a quick dinner, quite hot. Yeah, and then I can, after, after dinner, after my dinner, I can sit down and relax. <laughs> That's what I would do. And, and watch TV. But in the meantime, home's a pretty good place to be.